Hey there Titans, so in this video we'll talk about custom models in Titan Web. This video is going to be very short and we'll cover the essentials and we, we have another video at length about custom models that covers everything else. Alright, so custom models are um, a great way to uh, use models whenever you, have, you need to heavily customize your page, um, customize your model. And a custom model could be any page within Titan or any external page, either from another Titan application or a completely external site. Okay, so how do we uh, get this done? So first thing is we want to add another page. And let's just, uh, I'll take one of these templates here. And I'll go back to my home page. And let's say we want to show the model whenever there is a button that's clicked. So I'll go to the interactivity of the button and what I will say is redirect, go to page and here you can select if you want to go to an external site or internally and this is the option we will do for this demo and we will select model and notice the set parameters. It's very important to pass parameters from the parent to the child page to the model page and then pass back using page variables again at length in the custom model video. Um, here we can give it width and height. You can also do dynamic size. So you could decide, determine what size to give which device. Um, you could decide if you want to show or hide the header, um, allow or do not allow redirecting within the model. And you could decide the, the uh, position of the model. Okay. So we have the button. Um, let's preview this real quick. And here is our model. Now let's say we want to close the model when something happens on this page. Um, this can be done very simply if we navigate to page two. And let's say whenever I click read more, I want to close the model. So all I got to do is navigate to page actions. And I'll say close model enable and notice the enable set parent parameters. Super important when we want to pass data between pages. So again, page variable to page variable, and then we can take any actions we like on the parent page. We'll save this and we can display our model. And whenever I click read more, it will close it. And this is how it's done.